Doesn't sound like much. Certainly doesn't sound like anything from the soundtrack of the movie Pocahontas, the Disney movie Pocahontas. But if we stop and concentrate like really, really good little boy bears and girl bears, I hear the word you. You think you own whatever land you land on that the earth is just a dead thing you can claim. Let's learn to play that. We're going to drop the pinky, start off, third fret of the first string. It's got to be there. You, and then the chord that goes behind it is just a standard C. You make a standard C chord and drop your pinky on that first string, third fret, and hit that first. Just with a, bra a back stroke of any finger, I use my index, but you could use that and take any finger that's going to stroke it. You think. So the first two words are you is the first string, think is the whole chord. And the third word is you too. You think you. Uh oh, sounds like a teacher, doesn't it? You think you. The third word is just still the C. You're still in C, but you're pulling that pinky off the first fret or excuse me, off the third fret of the first string. Isn't that easy? You think you own. You just hit it twice for the word own. You think you own. Now whatever, that's going to be putting the pinky down on the second, uh, second string, third fret of the second string, still in your C but you're going to drop the pinky from the first string, third fret, to the second string, third fret. It's an easy little move. Doing, 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 doing. C. Okay, second string. And hit it twice. You think you own whatever, whatever, ev. That's a strange word. Uh-oh, we've broken a word into two syllables with two notes. Er, you think you own whatever, er, and that's just your C. You think you own whatever land you land on. Now, land. Notice the little lilt in the, the, the melody. Land, land on. We're going to drop a pinky, hammer on from the first fret to the third fret on the second string, and then pull it off. You think you own whatever land you... Okay, now for the chord, I'm making what most people would call an F. Most people make an F like this. But I'm fully on the first string. I'm just hitting the second, third, and fourth string of F and curling my thumb over to the first fret of the, the low bass string right here, the low E. One of my favorite chords, by the way. And then once I pluck it, see I'm taking these three fingers, uno, two, oh, three, oh, and a thumb. That's four strings I'm going to grab and pull. A beautiful sound. Just grab the first, those, the, excuse me, not first, but the second, third, and fourth strings with those three fingers. Pluck the bass that we've made here with our thumb. And after you pluck it, you drop the pinky from uh, well, the pinky's not anywhere. You drop the pinky on the second string, third fret. 
land on and the word on is just going in the same chord formation just going to the third string and plucking it That's the same F, that, B. You're hitting the third string from the top, the, e, the G string, and once again your F bass. Same formation right here. Earth is just a dead thing you can claim, but that me and what I'm hitting is just the in my F formation with these two fingers E bass G on the second fret. And that's nothing but a G chord. You move the uh, for the low E, you move the finger up, fret it at the third fret, and pluck the G string, the third string from the top, open. Then hit the third string open again, twice. Land, that B. Then we're going back to the beginning. Earth is just a Putting the pinky on second string, third fret. Earth is just a. Now from there we have to go to an A minor with our pinky still in the same spot. Just still there in the A minor. Earth is just a dead thing. You can claim now. Claim that's technically an E minor, but that's not going to get you the melody making the standard E minor. You're going to have to make this E minor. Or I prefer actually this E minor, but that's a bar chord. Some people don't like to do bar chords. That the earth is just a dead thing you can claim. See, there's the claim. And what I do is I once again, I do this a lot, it's just my style of play. Use these three fingers to grab the first, second, and third strings at the same time, simultaneously. That means at the same time. You grab these first, second, and third strings simultaneously with those three fingers, and at the same time, kind of in the reverse direction, get that open bass string, the open E, with your thumb. Isn't that pretty? The just a dead thing you can claim. Now, to fill in the space, claim. And I'm just brushing, brushing, go ahead, brushing through the chord after I hit the melody note.
Okay, and that part, we're, we're still here on this chord. You'll notice that looks a whole lot like a D minor. There's a D minor. Except I'm moving that D minor up to the third fret and making it with these three fingers. Not your cowboy chord D minor. Let's make that cowboy chord D minor with these three fingers and bar it up to the third fret. You can get this bass right here. Beautiful chord. This one's kind of hard to learn to make. But we gotta learn to make that chord if we're gonna sing this song. You have this option. You can do the formation that's typically uh, A seventh, A major seventh rather. You can do that, A major seventh with these three fingers and move it up to the fourth fret and put your index finger down on the, the high E on the third fret. That's the same as this. It don't, but if you do it this way, it's a little easier, you don't get this bass note. And I like that bass note. So I do it like this. So let's see what we've learned so far. La la. Now right there in that chord formation, you're just hitting second string, first string, B string, E string. Da, 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 da. It helps to get a bass. You can either hit this bass, fifth, fifth string bass, or open E bass, which is easier. Okay, now this is an A minor. You recognize A minor from here. But you can make A minor by barring E minor up to the fifth fret. That's also A minor. But we're not going to use the whole A minor. I'm just uh, using the first four strings of it, I'm barring the fifth fret, putting the ring finger down on the fourth string, and I'm doing that thing I do a lot again. I'm using these three fingers and the thumb to grab and pull four strings simultaneously. note from once you've grabbed and pulled right there we're going to drop the pinky down to the eighth fret of the of the B string second string and hit it twice and then pull it up and hit it a third time oops twice here and twice there Okay, I'm doing a lot of dancing with my pinky, aren't I? That's putting the pinky on the seventh fret of the third string, third G string there. Still maintaining that A minor chord. And then pulling it up again, just once again an open string there. to this goofy F that Phil Miller does and dropping the pinky on the third fret of the second string and then plucking the third string. Okay, here's where we are.
has a something, has a something else, and has a name. Okay, we're going to start that from this F again with don't forget your thumb, don't forget the bass. We're going to go the second string, first string from this formation. Drop the pinky down on the second string. Then pick, uh, then hit the third string. kind of quick. I'm having trouble thinking of a way to put it into words. I'm hitting these two strings, second and third, with my bass down here with my thumb. Then the third string. Then the first string open. Then again. Now this is a G with uh, typical G bass. But I'm putting my ring finger on the second fret of the B string and the pinky on the high E G G, G note. Then the second string again, but then the high E open. That's just part one. You can work on that for now. And here in a, a week or so, I'll put part two up. We'll see how we're doing on that. Hope that did you some good.